What is going on, everyone? The Houston Texans are welcoming the 5-10 and 10 Tennessee Titans, who you just beat a couple of weeks ago with Case Keenum. They have nothing to play for this year. They are trying to knock you out of the playoffs. These next two games for the Houston Texans are must-wins. These next two games will determine if you are in the postseason. Also, these next two games will determine if you are going to be representing your division first place for the AFC South is still up for grabs. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a three-way tie between the Jacksonville Jaguars, the Indianapolis Colts, and our Houston Texans. So we have the injury report for yesterday's practice. We are going to see who did not participate, who was limited, who was full. Welcome, everyone, to the 713 Houston Sportcast. I am your host, Ruben Calavillo. I drop daily Houston Texans content, so make sure you guys are following me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, for the latest news, rumors, and updates, once again, guys, check out Houston Texans Collective, a new clothing brand that just opened up here in H-Town. I dropped the link in the description below. We are trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the season. Please help me get there. And thank you all so much for watching today's episode. Now, let's go ahead and look at the injury report for yesterday's practice. Once again, this is the injury report versus the Tennessee Titans from yesterday, Wednesday's practice. Safety, Adrian Amos, non-injury related, personal, did not participate. Defensive end, Will Anderson Jr., the third overall pick, dealing with the ankle injury, did not practice. However, we heard from Aaron Wilson that Will Anderson is out of a walking boot. I personally do not think he suits up at home against Tennessee, but I definitely think he plays week 18 at Indy against Gardner Minshew. Defensive tackle Malik Collins dealing with a hip injury. Did not practice. Jonathan Grenard, ankle. He did not practice. Guard Shaq Mason calf did not practice, but we've been seeing Shaq Mason not practice every Wednesday, so this might be one of those veteran rest days. Cornerback Steven Nelson, foot, hamstring, and hand did not practice. Rest up, Steven Nelson. Sheldon Rankings, dealing with the ankle, did not practice. Laramie Tunsil, knee, did not practice, but as we all know, the knee on Wednesday is Laramie Tunsil's rest day. Now we get to the players that were limited. Wide receiver Noah Brown, he's dealing with the knee issue, was limited. Blake Cashman, welcome back, dealing with a hamstring, was limited in yesterday's practice. You need him there for the rest of these two games. Blake Cashman has been your best linebacker all season. This dude is a demon in coverage. And you see the fall off of play when Blake Cashman is not on the field. Wide receiver Nico Collins didn't want the calf was limited. However, I do think they are being cautious with Nico. Linebacker Denzel Perriman, ankle, was limited. Wide receiver Robert Woods, non-injury related, a veteran rest day. He is limited. And then, last but not least, C. Jay Stroud dealing with a concussion. We haven't seen him in two weeks. He was limited in yesterday's practice. This is from Aaron Wilson. He was talking to rookie wide receiver Xavier Hutchison. This is what Hutch had to say. It was huge just to have number seven's presence out there. Rookie wide receiver Xavier Hutchison said, we missed him for two weeks just to see him back out there fully healthy. It was huge. Everyone's excited, and I know he's excited. Can't wait to see what he does back this week. This is how you know you have the guy. This is how you know CJ Shot is a leader. The fact that he was limited yesterday, but everyone was just excited that you were there with them. Your presence was there. I mean, CJ Stroud is the guy. For the next 10 to 15 years for this Houston Texans team, he is the franchise. And man, I am feeling confident these last two games in the season. I think we are going to just walk all over the Tennessee Titans. Then, then, then against Indy, it does get a little interesting because you are traveling there. And then you might be playing for first place in the AFC South, man. I did not think the last two weeks of the season were going to be like this. So make sure you are staying updated with me on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Believe in Texans on Spotify. We also have a lot of things in the works. So make sure you guys stay tuned. H-Town 2, we drowned. This was the Houston Texans 
injury report for yesterday's practice. If any breaking news happens, you guys know I'm going to be dropping a video. Go Houston Texans. And for more content, y'all know what to do. Come back and follow me for more. You guys have a very blessed day.